This can really be a head scratcher. You put the bird seed in the feeder, you hang the feeder outside, and then there's no birds. The birds just aren't coming around. It could be an easy fix. There are some good general practices to follow and even a few things to be mindful of as seasons change. That's right, Marge Knudsen, she's here to help us get ready. She owns Wild Birds Unlimited. Good to Hi, see you, Marge. Hi, Marge. Listen, Welcome you've back. got some great Thank savings you. on bird feeders. We're going to get to those in a second, but what can we, it's, it's September, so what okay. can we do now to get ready for the fall and winter months of bird feeding? Well, it's a good time to clean your feeders mm -hmm. because it's kind of a messy job in the winter when everything's frozen up. Mm -hmm. um, but it's clean them now and be ready for fall and that's a good start. You also want to make sure they're still in good repair. Mm -hmm. If you're missing a perch or you need something fixed, now's the time to do it. Uh -huh. And maybe in some cases replace completely that's if they're right. so far gone. Um, and in fact, every feeder that Marge brought in today is on sale this month as are all bird feeders at Wild Birds Unlimited. So think about that as we go down the line. Uh -huh. well, let's okay. start down here because this is your, your eco tough. It mm -hmm. is. Um, it's just an example of a hopper feeder. Usually when people think of bird feeders, they think of either the hoppers or the tubes. Mm -hmm. And so um, this is a great feeder because it's made out of recycled milk jugs and soda bottles and mm -hmm. it'll last forever. It also has a lifetime warranty. Yeah, yeah that's pretty solid. Yeah, and, but you said that, that style, but then another, the tubes, right. um, which you also have on sale at Wild Birds Unlimited. What did you bring in today? I brought in a seed tube and a finch feeder. Mm -hmm. um, they're really simple. You just fill them from the top and the seed falls down, birds eat out of the seed ports mm -hmm. and good go. Well, those are, and they're really good construction. That's something that I, you know, you know these are going to last for years That's and right. years, yeah. Okay, and then we're moving down this way. What, what is this? This is a tray feeder. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to feed some unusual foods or peanuts in the shell or something like that, or even your regular bird seed, it's just an open tray. Mm -hmm. A what lot kind of birds, birds will this attract? Um, mm. Pretty much everybody, but cardinals especially like tray feeders, mm -hmm. so it's a good option for them. And then this one, they call it the dinner bell. It is. We understand why. Yes, it's a covered tray. You can use it as it is and put seed in the bottom. It has a little cover. Yeah, so the in the, the first feeders we looked at, you were just putting loose seed right. in there. It's the same story with this. Yes, right? you can do that. Or this can one, you, use you can cylinders? actually use a cylinder. Yeah. You unscrew the um, top, oh. and the cylinders have a hole in the center, so uh -huh. you put you it, it right on down. there. And, and you can see why the cover is so right. important in the winter months. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm looking. I love the, the multi purpose nature of this feeder, though. I didn't realize that you could do either way. It, um, yes. So, these cylinders, and even during the holidays and things, Marge will get some really cool blends in that are kind right. of fun. And, and so. this is very simple, very affordable, yeah. and simply for the still cylinders. Cylinder. Right. It still works for the cylinders. Mm -hmm. Cylinders are a great way to feed Slider. if you don't want to mess with a loose seed. Um, it's, it's not a messy seed. Uh -huh. um, the birds pick it up out from the cylinder. It's um, mm -hmm. stuck together with gelatin. Oh, and some people who are more like more, a little more modern, want a little yeah. bit of style. A, a piece like this I think is really cool. And maybe yeah. this isn't your speed. That might be, but this yeah. goes back to that recycled idea where um, it's, it holds up beautifully in right. harsh Nebraska winters. Right. And, you and big bricks. Oh, um, yes, we have different um, flavors mm -hmm. of bricks that fit in there. Um, it's another thing if you don't want to mess with seed in a bag, you just mm -hmm. lift like the top and slide the brick quite in. Quite honestly, you mm -hmm. lift the top to and you slide this down in there and uh -huh. then you hang it and you're done. That's right. You know, you want the birds, but you, listen, you don't have an hour every other weekend <laughs> to, to worry about it. the maintenance but of it and filling it. Uh, mm -hmm. But the feed right here says it's a woodpecker brick. Mm -hmm. So what's special about that brick that attracts woodpeckers? Um, actually, all birds will probably eat from that, but what attracts the woodpeckers are there are a lot of nuts in it, mm -hmm. and there are also some little suet nuggets in there. Okay, let's keep going here, Marge. We've got that, a few more options. That's another option for peanuts in the shell. Um, um, blue jays and woodpeckers, and mm -hmm. if you're lucky enough to live by woods, tough to Not tetanus. salted peanuts that you buy at the grocery store. No. No, you want unsalted uh -huh. peanuts. Because that, all that salt, well, it's not right. good for us and it's not good for birds That's either. Right. Okay, let's keep moving. These are some different options for feeding suet, which is mm -hmm. a wonderful winter food. It has a lot of okay. fat and protein, and um, the traditional one is the one that you're holding right there. Uh -huh. But we also have the suet logs. This one actually is made out of wood and comes pre-filled. And this cool? And then the little... Um, recycled one here, and they use the tube suets instead of the squares. So you just slide them right in the Right, and the then holes. you kind of mush them together with yeah. your hands on each side. Uh -huh. Keeps them in place. And then, 
Marge, hummingbirds are still migrating. They are. That's the word on the streets. Uh -huh. So what is happening right now and what should we be thinking about in the coming weeks? Uh, hummingbirds, depending on the weather, can come through even into early October. Mm -hmm. And so I saw one yesterday, so I know they're out there right now. Mm -hmm. Good time to hang out your feeder, make sure. How long do you want to keep it's those fresh. hummingbird feeders out? You t I recommend that you keep them out for two weeks after you've seen the last one. Okay. Um, th the having the feeders out won't keep them from migrating or mm -hmm. anything like that. So. <laughs> no, no, but uh, the, all feeders, 15 to 50 percent off in September, the month of September only. And listen, you can get some of this stuff. You can get feeders at some of the big box stores, but really, I tried that, and I was just only attracting blackbirds. Marge, I don't want the blackbirds anymore, so I came to you. Yep. You helped me get some more um, exotic birds, the, the cardinals and the blue jays and some of the other right. the hummingbirds coming into my bird feeders. Mm -hmm. And so that's the kind of expertise you get when you go to Wild Birds Unlimited right there in Rockbrook Village. Mm -hmm. And check out Marge's blog. What's your topic this month? Ball bird feeding. Bird feeding. <laughs> Yay. Marge knows her stuff. We're always so glad to have her here on the Morning Blend. WBUOmaha.com. That's the website. And again, you'll find her store at 108th and Center in Rockbrook. Good luck with the sale. Thank Good you, luck with okay, the, the fall thank months. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Marge. Good to see you. Uh, so, Dan Rather.